Hello and welcome to another Pincast Bowl of Soup. This is the very first episode of my Slackware Luncheon. To, and this is the very first episode, and we are going to be installing and configuring Slackware and learning how to use it. So grab yourself a coffee or beer, whatever is your poison. Sit down and dig right into Slackware. So I'm going to create a virtual machine for Slackware using VirtualBox. So I'm going to create a new machine next and call it Slackware. It's Linux. Unfortunately, it's not under any of these types of Linux. So I'm going to select other Linux. Click Next. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a full gig of RAM. Uh, make a VDI. Dynamically allocate it. I'll just give it 20 gigs. We'll click Create. And create. I'm going to go into Settings and change a few things. I'm going to go to Storage. I'm going to click on this empty disk right here. Click on the disk icon. I'm going to choose my virtual disk. And it's going to be the Slackware 13.37 install DVD. That way it boots off the ISO. I'm going to click on Network. It's attached to NAT. I'm going to switch to Bridged Adapter. Now, I'm using Wireless. So I'm going to bridge it over WLAN 0. If you're using Ethernet, you'd use ETH0. Uh, this will allow me to use SSH to get into the machine if I want to. I could set up SSH between the machines. Uh, if this gives you a bit of trouble, you can just go back to NAT. So we're going to click OK. We're going to click Start. Uh, I'm not going to have any other boot parameters, so I'm just going to hit Enter to stick with the defaults. Um, stick with the default key map, and I'm going to log in as root. Okay, first thing we need to do is partition the drive. We have two choices. We can use CF disk or F disk. F disk is completely text based, and you type in your commands. CF disk uses N curses, so you can use your arrow keys to move around and kind of graphically partition. So, I'm going to use CF disk. And I'm going to create a primary partition. I'll just make it 256 megs. I'll put the beginning of the disk. I'll make, oh no, first I need to hit the type. Uh, 82 Linux is good. That will allow it to be a swap. I'm going to press new primary. Give it all the space marked as bootable. I got my two partitions that I want. Because we're going to, for this setup, we're going to be doing one swap and then putting everything on root. I'm going to write the partition table. So I'm going to hit write, type in yes, quit. Then we're going to type in setup. Uh, you can read the help file, you can uh, select your key map. We're going to add swap partition, slash dev slash sda1, that is correct, OK. Uh, you might want to check for bad blocks. But I'm not going to for speed sake. Okay. And for the first partition, we select our root partition. It's going to be the second one. I'm going to format it to extension 4. And okay. And uh, I'm not going to make any other partition, so we're done with the setup. I'm going to install from. Uh, CD DVD. It's going to automatically scan. If it fails to scan and you're using a disk, it's probably slash dev slash sr0. Now we select our diskettes. Now, for those of you, I'm going to give you a quick history lesson. Uh, Slackware used to be installed off of a series of floppies, and you put your diskettes on floppies. So the um, back in like the the 90s. So when you download a Slackware ISO, you have a set of diskettes, different diskettes you can get, or you can get the full DVD, which is what this is, and it will have all the diskettes. And 
you can untick different diskettes or tick what you want. You can uncheck whole diskettes like I'm not an Emacs user, I don't want the Emacs diskette. I don't use KDE, so I'm going to untick that diskette. So I can untick whole chunks of software I don't want. Like I'm not going to be using games in this virtual machine. Uh, yeah, so, okay. You can, once you have selected what diskettes you want, you can do a full install and it'll install everything off of your diskettes. Or you can do uh, your expert menu and it'll just bring you up to a menu and you can untick all the software you don't want. But I'm just going to go ahead and do full for speed's sake. I'm going to take this time to show you how to get the Slackware ISO. I probably should have done that first. But uh, just head over to www.slackware.com. Alright, so we're at the Slackware website. Get Slack. You can go to the Torrents page if you want Torrent. If you want a direct download, you can go to their mirror. And here we have different install ISOs. Here are your different diskettes, or you can get the DVD which has all of them. And here's the 64-bit ISO which has everything, they don't really have the different diskettes. Um, if we go back to the main website and install help, it'll tell you obtain the software sets. My computer just lost responsiveness here, so it'll take a second. Alright, here we go. It'll tell you uh, what each diskette is. So uh, pick what you want. I went with the full DVD, and I recommend that's what you go with. And then use that as your install media. Now, uh, let's see if this is done. It might take a minute. Alright, so we're done installing. We can either create a USB bootable stick or we can skip it. That's one cool thing I find about Slackware. If something were wrong with your bootloader, you could have a bootable stick. So, uh, shove it in your USB port boot off of it and your system's booted up. That's pretty neat, but I'm just going to skip it. Uh, Lilo stands for Linux Loader. It's an alternate bootloader to Grub, which you might be familiar with. Uh, most people use Grub. This, of course, uses Lilo. You can get Grub on Slacker, but if you can install it, Lilo is your only choice. You, however, however, you can replace it with Grub. Uh, simple hasn't always worked for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and do expert for this. So we're going to hit begin uh, to make a new Lilo conf. I don't need any kernel parameters, so I'm going to hit OK. No. Uh, I'm going to give myself a 10 by 24 or 10 24 by 768 uh, screen resolution. I'm going to install to the master boot record slash dev slash sda, my first and only hard disk. Now, if you do simple, it's going to set your time out to two minutes. We can do none, five, thirty, or forever. I'll just do five seconds so you can see the cool Slackware splash. Uh, yes, I want to use the logo. I'm going to add a Linux partition, which is slash dev slash sda2. You add a name, it must be one word, I'm going to call it Slackware, you could add a Windows, I don't have that, uh, my Slackware partition is my only one, so I'm going to hit install, and now we can configure your mouse, uh, leaving on the default should be fine, uh, USB also works if you're using a USB mouse, if you're using PS2 obviously you're going to want to select that. So, I'm just going to leave on the default. Yes, loaded up boot. I'm going to configure my network. You might not want to if you're using wireless, because you're going to set it up for Ethernet if you configure it, but you're also going to set up stuff like your host name, which I'll just call uh, Slackware. 
domain name, domain name I'll just call slack-bm.org. So DHCP, it configures for Ethernet. I'm just going to hit enter, yes. Okay, so here are some startup services we might want to run. Like a cups print server you want to use in Hal D. Um, you want message bus. Uh, SSH, you may or may not want that starting. Untick if you're not going to use SSH as, or use the computer as an SSH server. But I'll, I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. Okay. I'm not going to bother with the screen fonts. If you're running, if you're setting up a dual boot with Windows, you'll want to set it to local time. But I'm going to set this to UTC since Slackware is the only OS on the system. Uh, US Eastern. Uh, I'm going to have XSCE as my default environment. I'll set a password for root. Make sure you make your root password nice and secure. Once you're done, you press Control Alt Delete. So I'm going to insert a Control Alt Delete into the virtual machine. And I'm going to want to remove the disk from the drive. I'm just done shutting it down. Okay, and you see we have the nice, cool Slackware Linux logo. And now it's going to load Slackware. And that's it for the install part. So uh, I really hope you enjoyed this part, this first episode of the Slackware Luncheon. And stay tuned for the next one. We're going to go ahead and set up. Uh, we're going to set up the system. If you're on wireless, I'll show you how to get that set up. Initially, I'll show you uh, a method from the command line. I don't remember if you have. Um, NM applet for your uh, GUI way of setting up the network, but I'll make sure you get you're able to get set up wirelessly, and we'll continue from there. So, see you next time.